Hey guys, my name is William and in today's video what we're going to be talking about is how to utilize Quora in combination with Jarvis or Conversion AI for local SEO. If you haven't been to this channel yet, this is your first time here or you're not even subscribed, make sure to hit the subscription button below and turn on that bell notification so that you don't miss any time that we go live. Because trust me, you're not going to want to miss it. We have people on here like myself, Chris Palmer, Holly Starks, Jason McLaughlin, and many others. The list goes on and on, and we're constantly dropping golden nuggets, if you will, for you guys in your local SEO. So make sure to hit subscription below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. How many of you guys are aware of Quora? If you like my SOP, make sure to comment below for my, if you will, step-by-step -step SOP on how we utilize Quora for our fact pages and question and answers. In specific, when I say question and answers, I'm talking about this little section right here that a lot of people ignore, right? I would tell you to put at least 10 Q and A's on here a month, right? It's really easy to do. You log into one Google account, post the questions, and you answer them from your GMB profile account, okay? That's one way. Now, how do we get all these questions, right? Let's just go over to Quora. And let's just type in this. Just for example, we were writing about how to lose weight, right? How to lose weight. I'm just giving you an example. And they come up with all these questions, right? I scroll down, I scroll down, I scroll down, I scroll down, right? And I go over this little icon that's up here in top right. It's called Launch Simple Scraper. It is an extension. It's a Chrome extension. Go get it. And I hit Launch Simple Scraper and scrape this website. It's going to scrape Quora. And I just simply come over here and I hit this nice little plus sign that you'll see to add property. I hit plus and I come over to the question area and I hit that area and now all of the questions are selected right all of these questions are selected you may be saying why do I need questions that people are asking well good question um here's why when I go to Quora or any other place where people are actually asking questions that is giving you data or that is giving you input and what is important to people at this current moment. So if they were looking for weight loss or roof repairs or emergency plumber, it's telling you what are their concerns or questions. So that is why it's important. Now let's go back over here. So once it's got these questions, I hit view results right here. I mean, you put the, I'm sorry, not view results first, but you hit the question mark or the check mark, and then you hit view results, right? Now, once we do that, we hit download CSV. It's going to download it. <coughs> when we open it, you now have all these questions, right? Awesome, William. I now have something to put or create fax pages on my local website. All right. But how do I come up with the answers? All right. Real simple. So we can, number one, let's say our website was about weight loss. We can take these questions and come into the GNB underneath a different Google account, if you will. And if this website, this is a roofer in specific, but we could actually ask questions, right? And that's cool and all, but you may be saying, well, how do I answer these questions? Because I don't know. I don't know all the answers to this, or maybe you do know the answer to this. Well, then in that case, we have Jarvis. Jarvis is amazing, okay? So Jarvis, I can go over here and just go Quora, right? And it's going to show me or answer. Let me go back to my dashboard templates. And it is Quora. Quora answers right here. You see it? So what you're going to want to do is you're going to click on Quora answers. After you click on Quora answers, I can go back over to, let's just say, is a continued giant good for weight loss let's grab that okay we put it here and information i want to include in it is ketonic diet right informative marketing that's why i wanted to be about it had generate content <clears throat> while it's generating content 
you sit back, relax, and Jarvis is going to come up with the content. So the answer for it, and it goes on, a ketonic diet is a great way to lose weight because it causes your body to burn fat from energy instead of sugar. So right away, we now can take that information, that question, put it into GMB, right? I could go into here and ask whatever question I want. Ask a question from a different account, right? Just say, for instance, let's just grab this one, for instance, um, and say, how would we do this? We go ask a question, you know, how much, I'm just, how much, does an average roof repair cost, right? And you've also noticed he's given you suggested answers in which they've had reviews over here, which is pretty cool. Something GMB is also now doing or Google Business Profile. You'll see anytime you're actually asking a question, they're actually giving you an answer already right off the bat. But let's say I just want to answer this. I post it. <clears throat> what's going to happen is I can ask another or another or another. Then you, as the business owner, are going to get notified that someone's asked questions. In this case, you're just simply going into a separate Google or Gmail account asking the questions. And then you come into your main Google account and you answer the questions. Because what happens when you get a question, you will be notified that a question has come in and then you answer it from that account. What is this going to do? Think of it this way. You're taking your website, you're filling it with relative content, relative questions people are asking. You want to do that inside of your Google My Business posts. You want to do that inside your fact pages on your website. And you also want to do that in Q&As on the Google Business Profile. So I hopefully y'all enjoyed this hack. I want to show it to you one more time. The Chrome extension is called Launch Simple Scraper. Launch Simple Scraper. You just go in here and go Launch Simple Scraper. And it's this Chrome extension right here. You're going to want to go get that. Combine that over with Jarvis and you are going to be gold. So you go Quora, Simple Scraper, and Jarvis. If you don't have a free trial of Jarvis and would like it, make sure to go into the description of the video below and get it. Because I have Jarvis in there. I'm also going to have the link for the Quora Scraper, uh, Simple Scraper, and you can use it for many other things. But that's one of the many hacks that we use Jarvis Conversion AI with in combination with Quora in combination with Simple Scraper. This is gonna help you create Google My Business posts. They're about questions people are asking, your fact pages about your services, and your Q&As on your Google My Business listing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to comment below for my Quora Jarvis SOP or spreadsheet in which I show you step by step by step this exact same process that way you can do it perfectly every time just like a pro i appreciate it y'all have a great day and be blessed i have so many seos that hate me and say that i'm still in their methods they bitch and they cry labeling me seo black cattle was a nobody now i'm at the top most wanted most love bad business